focus on lesson two of Around the Ancient World every week, um, there is a place for your family to begin doing nature study. Now, nature study is not just a walk in the park to hang out, which those are great, no criticism for it, but what we're trying to do is take the observations that we have while in nature, nature and take it a level deeper and begin to do some science exploration through nature study. So on the page, the directions say, younger kids can identify the shape or color from nature. Older kids will be asked to do their best work to copy plant from the backyard or nature walk. Include on the page for older students, I wonder, I notice, it reminds me of. So what I'm gonna do is show you practically what that looks like for our family on every age level. Now, um, I want to be a really upfront, this is a skill that our family is gonna be developing and working on this summer so we can launch into it during the school year with a little bit more grounding. Um, but we've already begun and I've noticed a difference, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you lesson one so that way you can see how it looks at its most fundamental level. You're not doing comparison game to a family who's been doing it for five years. Like this is our lesson one and um, take it with that. So, okay, so we have here, let me just point this down. We have here Keller. So this is what it's going to look like on a toddler level or on a, um, a preschool level. So, oh wait, this is Keaton, sorry. Here's Keller. Um, and so preschool or toddler, all you're trying to do, we did our first nature study on daffodils. So what we are working on is color identification. We're not trying to match any shapes or do anything. He's just taking his watercolors and putting the same color onto, um, onto his page. And so we've got greens for the stems and yellows. And he noticed there was some orangey color as it got closer to the tip bit of black snuck in there but overall not bad for preschool and toddler so then for our first grader um we have a slightly more shape to it we've got some distinction here one of the things that he observed by carefully studying and trying to paint is that it looked like two triangles like one and then one upside down that created the six petals which was a fun observation but what you'll notice is there's no writing yet on here if he wants to i think maybe in, no, um, if you want to, you can add some writing, you can ask them what they observed and you can include that onto the page. Um, but this is page one for him. And then as you get a little bit older, you, I have Keaton here, he wanted to add an extra tree and he's beginning to write in some of his observations into it. Um, from what I've heard, never correct the spelling on this. This is very personal for your child. And so allow them to observe and to um, create and to take ownership of that nature journaling. So some skills that we are working on is when you open it up, you do the first page. When you flip, you do the next page. Um, uh, another skill that um, you're gonna be working on with the upper levels, this will be things that we work on with Keaton as we progress is matching shape and mixing colors in order to create the color so that way it's the most matched that it can be and then also um, adding additional details and so um, yeah we'll be we'll be working on that and so I always do it with them too so I'm going to show you this is what it could look like for an older student so writing in the different names for it adding a date here for what time of year you can observe this in nature. There's um, slightly more details in the painting and then, um, then some observations from what you noticed while you were out doing um, your nature study. You can add elements to it. Um, so not the whole thing, but to do like a study of like, what does it look like just to paint a petal? Or how do I get the corona just right? Or how do I add the pest? that it looks somewhat natural and so I'm not an artist by any means um, but it is fun to work on this stuff with the kids so there are some really neat books that have helped us um, and I will write those in the show notes or in the YouTube notes here 
Um, but be, looking through other people's nature journals, artists' nature journals are incredibly inspiring for us. And I think that they will be for you too. Um, but some skills that are worked on during this is um, fine motor skill, color differentiation, scientific observation, um, and uh, writing skills and some spelling if your child notices it. But you can hear my toddler just started yelling time to wake up. So that's the end of our nature journal lesson for today. Okay, so what supplies are helpful for nature study? The first thing I start off with is a canvas bag. I found these at Hobby Lobby for $5. You can adjust the length so that way it's easier to put onto your kids. They also have these butterfly nets. They have a magnifying glass too. I'm gonna go back for, I think it'll be helpful. But for catching minnows or bugs or butterflies of any sort, um, I use these Winton, Windsor Newton, Windsor Newton uh, pocket paints. They also have cheaper versions at Hobby Lobby if you want that, but these come with its own tiny little paintbrush or you can get these larger paintbrushes. Ironically, the more I've learned about watercolor is it really is easier to use a small paintbrush to paint than the big one, but you can pack both of them just in case, whatever your student wants. These Peterson guides, I think they also have birds and flowers. I know they have rocks and minerals because we have that one also, but then this wildlife guide, and then you'll want a watercolor weight paper, um, nature journal. Um, I get these at Hobby Lobby also. It's got nice thick pages to work your way through. And then also another option are these watercolor pencils. So it's so much fun. Um, when we were doing it this past week, I just used a little bit of pond water and added to it and it gave, it gave a nice look. I've collected these at garage sales, but you could get just like a basic set and it would work just as well. So Anyway, those are the things that we use for our nature journaling.